Ooh, purple looks kind of cool. I like the purple. Ooh, what's up, guys? It's another top five. This time, it's for September. And man, September was stacked. Holy crap, lots of bangers. Um, also, I'm going to include some songs that I missed from previous months in here as a disclaimer. Um, but yeah, this is the series where I give you my personal top five favorite songs that I've heard for the month. Um, also, tons of honorable mentions, so you can hopefully find a new band or song. And worst song of the month, just for fun. But anyway, I think that's all we really need for chit chat, right? Let's fucking do it! Number five goes to beloved metalcore band, and this band dropped a beloved record this month. Um, a lot of people are talking about this record. They're saying it's album of the year for them. I think it's really solid, but this one song is the intro track to the album. It just has everything for me, you know, it has great chorus with fantastic cleans. It's got a good breakdown. Um, it just really sets the pace for the record. And this record is a little bit more experimental. It's a little bit more sad and there's a strong post hardcore influence to it. And I think it's really cool. But yeah, the intro song is probably my favorite off color DK. Talking about Delaware's Prada exhibition. Now I like some bananas and Delaware's Prada in the morning, man. Ooh. Oh, we're getting a breakdown? I actually didn't even really feel like we needed one. <laughs> All right, yeah, we needed one. <laughs> Number four goes to the Kings of Deathcore at the moment. Everyone is loving this band. From speed, riffage, symphonic moments, vocals, guitars, drums, everything is so good about this band. Although a lot of their singles are bleeding together for me, this new single shows a lot of motion and a lot of motion for deathcore that we typically don't get in this scene of deathcore. Anyway, this song is special. It's not number one, only because it still sounds relatively similar to their last couple singles, but it's still a really, really sick track. And I'm talking about Lauren Shore, Pain Remains, Numero Uno. There we go. Emotional deathcore. Number three is the biased pick in this list because I love this band. I'm a big fan of this band and they've mellowed out over the years, but this new single is heavy. Well, it's heavy for them, okay? They're screaming again, which is unbelievable. Um, this song is one of the best songs that this band has put out in years for me. Uh, it, it gives me the same feeling I had when I was a teenager listening to them. It's got great vocals, amazing, beautiful bridge with a climactic ending, um, five by four groove that I kind of like. And you know what? It's dad rock. I I'll say it's dad rock. I don't give a shit. I'm all... I'm in my 30s. I'm not even old in my 30s. I got a friggin' quipping in denial. I'm old. I like dad rock. This song is dad rock. I don't give a shit. It's awesome. Number three goes to thrice. Open your eyes and dream. It's really nice. Bridger. Even post chorus. Oh. It's filling up. It's filling up. Okay, this track is one of the heaviest songs of the year and it is the heaviest trap metal song I've ever heard. Some people might argue, eh, it's not trap metal. Well, they're screaming, rap and stuff. There's somewhat of a beat before it gets into the filthy deathcore sections that we're known for from this band. I think it's trap metal. I think it's fucking heavy. No, I don't think. I know it is. And this band mixes deathcore, metalcore, shoegaze, emo, gent. In trap metal and EDM, this band is nuts. Their new album is nuts, and this music video is nuts. This is just nutty. Talking about Darko US evolving. Fucking piece of shit. What the fuck are you gonna do now? Ooh! <laughs> Holy fuck, man! Worst song of the month. Do I re <laughs> do I really need to explain myself here? Oh man. Ah, if a gog. <laughs> worst song of the month, worst song of the year, dude. This song is bad. Parkway Drive, if a gog can bleed. Everybody knows that everybody <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, uh, this is interesting to say the least. Okay. Just. That's how it ends. <laughs> that could be one of the worst songs I've heard all year for sure. 
All right, time to move on to the honorable mentions. Hopefully you find a new band or song in this little montage. Dude, this is reminding me of the old stuff. This is actually amazing. Making such technical guitar playing. So incredibly catchy with these vocal hooks. Give me those riffs. Less chugs, more riffs. It's like I'm falling through the sky. Yeah, exactly. It's good commercial metal. Good chorus. Wow. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Psych. Thought we were gonna break down. We still might get it. Oh. Shane did say this is a bit more of a mellow one. Oh. Are we praying for a breakdown? <laughs> I think we are. This guy's not happy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, he's making a return. All right. Oh. <laughs> that... Yeah, they're making it work. Number one is actually my least watched video of the month, um, but that's okay. They're an up and coming band. They're trying to make a name for themselves, but I am confident that this band is going to blow up if they continue with this quality, uh, with the right marketing. I can see them in the same conversation as a lot of, you know, metalcore progressive metal bands that we talk about today. But basically it's System of a Down, Shokrin, and Protest the Hero if they all had a baby. It's extremely unique. The musicianship is so, so good. They're a high school band, so they already have chemistry from a long time ago, so they already have experience. The vocal me melodies are so clear, but they work so well alongside the music, and it's not four by four kind of patterns with the vocals. There's just so much elements that I love about this band and this EP and this song. You have to check it out if you're into progressive metal or even progressive metalcore. My number one goes to Relica. I don't know what I am. Yeah, man, you gotta check out Relica. That shit bangs. The entire EP is just six bangers. But anyway, guys, that is my top five for September. I'm curious to know what your top five is, so comment down below. Spice up my life. What are your top five songs that you heard in September? What did I miss? What are you looking forward to in October? You know, let's just have a conversation in the comments down below. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.